Cupid kills with arrows, some with traps. Mm. Much ado about nothing tells a tale of meddling in love affairs and a battle of the wits. Yes, this morning we are joined by two of the stars of Cincinnati Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Kelly Mingle Cook plays Beatrice, and Jeffrey Warren plays uh, the second plays the role of Benedict. Good morning. And they're so brave. They are. So they're, they're so, so brave, brave they didn't to still leave be here after that segment. But yeah. I, I have to tell you, I, this is this is my favorite Shakespeare. Mine too. Play. It, yeah. it, it just yeah. it's it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so light. It's so it's so whimsical. How much do you enjoy this particular play? Oh my god! It, so to be honest, like this was the Kenneth Branagh movie that I saw when I was yes! in middle school. Oh, yes! I was like, I love Shakespeare. So, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, always been in love with it. Perfect. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So do you guys set this in any? different era. So sometimes I know what I love about Shakespeare, the Shakespeare company yeah. here, is that you guys um, sometimes take a play and you modernize it as far as putting it in a different era and make the costumes different. Where is this one set? This one's kind of a Elizabethan Romani um, classical, but it's beautiful. Yes. I look like a Disney pirate princess. <laughs> and you clearly don't hate that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you seem okay with that. We, and, yeah, but there's also, in, in addition to the, um, the people are sort of planted firmly on the ground. There's a lot of sort of mythical and mystical things that happen in this show as well. For those who don't oh, like actually it. know the play, give us the basic storyline. All right, well, before Nora Ephron, before Hallmark classic movies, <laughs> uh, there was good. Shakespeare's rom-coms. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a, a story about two people who think they hate each other when yeah. everyone else knows they're supposed to be together. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. They kind of, you know, kind of the, the, get over like th themselves and through their friends kind of pushing them together they realize that they're in love and they yeah. realize that at the end of the play and every everyone lives happily ever after yeah, yeah. there's and a lot of tomfoolery hijinks and that happen yeah. in the now, play with tomfoolery and that type yeah. of thing and ver the very quick you know speaking that you have to do how do you guys kind of build trust with each other to know, you know, the person's going to be there to pick you up after you deliver that quick line and they're going to be there or they're going to physically pick you up. You know, I mean, is being part of the company help? Yeah, yeah. together yeah, all the really time. Does. How many years have we worked together? Oh, this is my ninth season oh, wow. in yeah, the company. So. Yeah, and Kelly and I have done a number of shows together. Yeah. So over over the years, we build up a lot of trust mm -hmm. and and you know we have a great sense of play and connection. But this is our first time, like really, like, like getting opposite. to like play opposite. Yeah, oh, that's so, so fun. Fun. a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Guys, you can tell they have great chemistry. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> good relationship. Yeah. For people who are coming to Shakespeare, we, we, I feel yeah. like we have this conversation with, with the both of you. We've had it several times, I think, over the years. You know. Shakespeare can be a tough entry point for a lot of people. They're, they, the, the language makes them nervous, so they just don't yeah. think they're, they're up for the task. For me, again, because I love this show, this feels like a good Shakespeare starter show. It's, yeah, it's yeah? great. It's family friendly. Yeah. It's it's very accessible. It's a very simple story. It's just it, much ado about nothing. It's in the title. It's like, there's love not that. a complicated plot here. It's just love and, you know, villainy and like, yeah. it's humor. It's, yeah, it's, and it's, it's so <laughs> simple. It's yeah. just so simple. It's seeing two people get to come together and then there's the young lovers, the mature lovers. It's it's classic. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys doing this one in the round or it, it, where people can sit on as part of the stage? Not this time. Yeah. We just did Caesar and that was like that. That was like but that. Yeah. 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 I know that's one of the neat things that you guys yeah. do. But still, you know, I, I love the theater is just so beautiful. And it's such a, a, a wonderful place to come and experience Shakespeare, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of audience interaction in this play yes. in particular. So and fun. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's really great to, you know, to play with the audience. Myself playing Benedict. I'm, I'm one of the characters that gets to break the fourth wall. Probably and, the most. Yeah, yeah. And talk to the <laughs> audience members. And it's actually very relaxing because all, you know, our audiences, they want this story. They lean in, right? They want all of that, that love and hijinks and, you know, tomfoolery and all of the comedy. So to be able to break the fourth wall and talk to them, it's just it's just very comforting. I have a, a good time doing yeah. it. Yeah. It's fun to hear the audience go like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> it's not even happening. He's talking like, to me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you break the fourth wall like that, do you... <clears throat> Is it hard to remember, oh yeah, I'm doing Shakespeare. Do, do you know what I mean? Or do you do you find a way to keep those beats? Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's easy. I find a way to really keep the beats. You know, yeah. it actually makes me slow down a little bit and just take your time because when you do that, you actually, you know, people get the story a lot easier. Yeah. Um, so when you take your time and, and you take your
your moments and deliver the words. I think the audience really appreciates it more because they're fo they're able to follow you. Yeah. And with that, the the connection is maintained, and I get to have more fun because I see that they're having fun. It's just great. It's a good yeah, time. I love it yeah. so much. Well, yeah. do you want to give us the details of how when, the show is already opened? We open tonight, tonight, and we go through May fifth. You're yeah. here on opening, opening night. Yeah, we're tired. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Attack last night. Attack week. Oh, oh, 